We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another Black Series figure review today. We've got the Magna Guard, last one I needed to sort of pick up from the most recent uh, couple of waves um, that I intended on picking up. Uh, yeah, I did sort of sit on this for a little while. Um, it's seen a couple of reviews that weren't super favorable, but, um, you know, I sort of decided that, uh, you know, any, any sort of issues, you know, I've heard about the issues with the shoulder pads and stuff. So seeing that firsthand, I'd, I've got some ideas on how to, on how to sort of fix them up. Um, but yeah, he's number 15 from the Clone Wars. A little bit of a right up there on the bio for the back. And check that out. Again, probably one of the last figures we'll see in the plastic-free packaging. I don't foresee any more coming out that I will be picking up. So, without further ado, let's bust him open and take a look at the Magna Guard. All right, guys, here is the Magna Guard out of the packaging. And uh, aesthetically, this guy looks cool, but he has already given me a couple of headaches just, just trying to get him to stand up here. But nevertheless, we will do our best, or I will do my best, and uh, hopefully he will try to do his best. Just stand and be good. He's just as bad as his uh, boss, General Grievous. Let's put him aside. Let's take a look at the uh, accessories here. So we do have the uh, un unlit, I guess, Magna Guard spear. Uh, which is cool. This one's going to go straight to the uh, HK87 droids I have. The the uh, ones from Season 2 of Mandalorian. Because, uh, yeah, that's, that's a much better fit <laughs> when... We also have the sort of the glass ended uh, things, uh, Magna Guard staff here, which is cool. So yeah, we definitely be arming them with this. Um, we also get these couple of little sort of electricity pieces. Sort of, they sort of just. I think they just sort of wrap on down here. I don't know. They don't, they don't really go on that well. I remember they sort of had the same thing with the uh, electro staff for the purge troopers. Uh, they don't actually sort of wrap around too much. They just sort of like half wrap rather than actually go entirely around the same thing. But um. Yeah, for the purposes of my display, I'll, prob I'll probably just end up gluing them on, to be honest, and trying to get them to wrap around a little bit, because they just, yeah, they're a little bit dicky. Um, that one seems to want to sit on okay. Just up there. So that one's holding okay. But yeah, sort of, you know, it would be better if it was sort of all the way around as opposed to just, just here. Even up there, that looks all right. And then persist with this bit again. There we go. That, that works. So that, that's that's cool. But yeah, this one, yeah, it's straight to the uh, HK. So here is the uh, the Magna Card. I'm going to see if I can. Let us allow a little more light. There we go. So yeah, just from the looks, the uh, the sculpt's great. I really like the look of him. The soft goods looks fantastic. Weathering and detail, really, really good. It's sort of more of a white, whiter colour. Which obviously they are sort of more based on the Clone Wars than they are Revenge of the Sith. Um... Because the ones from Revenge of the... They're a bit more of a sort of a creamy, beige sort of colour. So the, yeah, and uh, there we go. We've already got shoulder pads falling off, which, you know, is is annoying. But at least they are, they are labelled. So there you can see a little R underneath there. So, you know, that's for his right arm. As you can see, there's just these tiny little 
little pegs on the side of this sort of arm joint here. Yeah, you can just sort of see that. And uh, yeah, because these are so, these shoulder pieces are so flexible, one slight little uh, bend and they're coming off. When they're on there, they look good. Um, so for me, they will be getting permanently glued on. I try and find a nice sort of neutral position where the arm can sort of come up still. I may even just sort of glue the base to the uh, forearm there and do away with the uh, pins, just so it allows for that sort of movement. I don't know. I've got some. I've got some thinking to do. A little bit of playing around, um, but I'll make it work. I do have two of them, so, you know, I'll be able to easily replicate it from one to the other. But yeah, the soft goods is, looks great. I love that sort of, the sort of draping cape. Not unlike the uh, HK droids. Be a sort of a double layer there. It looks good. And it sort of sits nicely too, the way the sort of seams are sort of hemmed over the, uh, over the shoulder there. It just sort of, they just sort of sit nicely. I still think it's funny that droids wear ponchos. Again, shoulder pad. I'm just going to put that aside. Otherwise, it's going to go somewhere and I'm going to lose it and never see it again. I'm going to do that one too. Just going to move them off for the rest of the review, I think. <clears throat> but overall, the rest of the sculpt is, you know, really nice. With the sort of machinery underneath. Looks good. Good articulation on the figure too. I will go through that. Just gonna see if I can uh, take the soft goods off. There we go. I'm just gonna pop off that head just to get a look underneath. And we do have sort of double barbell there, worn socket there in the neck. There is a sort of ball and socket in the actual arm sort of cavity in there. And on that end is the uh, the ball hinge there. So you can get a bit of up and down movement. So, and sort of back and forth. So it's sort of uh, in place of a, like a butterfly joint. They're sort of, sort of aimed to do the similar thing. Uh, elbow. And there is a swivel in the top there as well. Down here, there is a swivel in in that part of the arm there, as well in the wrist, there is a hinge in the wrist. There is a ball and socket in the uh, top of the torso there. And it feels like it's already getting a little bit loose, so something else to work on. <laughs> I love having to fix figures and then you're out of the box. No, it's... um. It may just be this one, I'm not sure. Uh, ball and socket in the legs. So you get a little bit of, little bit of sort of up and down movement. Enough movement there. Uh, sort of a good joint in the knee there. There's no sort of thigh swivel or anything. Swivel in the ankles. And yeah, a, a hinge down there as well. So pretty much pretty solid articulation really for this for this figure it's not I wouldn't say he's top heavy just a little awkward just to find that sweet spot you know like you may want to put him in like a wider a wider stance on guard maybe even use this use, use the staff to sort of counterbalance somehow but yeah let's let's put this back on him See how that sits over the neck. There's a couple of loops in the fabric. Just pop that head on. There we go. Got the head back on. Look, I'm not disappointed in it. There's a few, obviously there's a couple of little issues. Um, and just the... I don't know. I don't know what it, what else they could have done. You know, I I got to say I'm happy to have a Magna Guard in the collection in the Black series. 
the vintage collections could certainly do with some new Magna Guards. They've been uh, gone for a very long time. But even if you manage to sort of stand him up like this, you know, use the staff as a bit of a, a walking stick to perch him. There we go. Not too many issues there with the standing. If you're using this, um, yeah, I've seen some really cool posing done with this figure. So I'm excited to set these up. As much as it's going to test my patience, I'll, I'll make sure it works. But yeah, probably have I probably have a little bit of fun with these two, despite those headaches. <laughs> but all good. I, I'm not. I'm you know, despite those glaring little disappointments, like with the uh, the shoulder pads here. You know, I I don't want to have to fix figures. I'll do it because you know it suits my needs. There we go. So sort of a wide stance there. And he's standing okay. Look, aesthetically, they look fantastic. I think they're really cool. Um, just those couple of little issues. It just sets them back a little bit. The potential to be fantastic figures is there. Just execution, not quite. Not quite 100%. But um, yeah, we'll see what, what goes on with the uh, future. See if we get some more Magna Guards in the future. Um, you know, it could be a Jedi Survivor sort of ish repainted version for gaming greats i dare say that's probably they want to make the most of the mold and the sculpts and all that so i wouldn't be surprised but yeah some revenge of the sith stuff would be cool um yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below please drop a drop a comment let me know your thoughts um i am glad i picked them up it took me a little bit but I, i'm glad i did um but yeah if you enjoy the review please give the video a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And we'll see you again for some more reviews very, very soon. Until then, may the Force be with you, always.